time for Mitch McConnell to go? I think it is. Look, everyone here also supported a leadership challenge to Mitch McConnell in November. Uh, I think a Republican leader should actually lead this conference and should advance the priorities of Republicans. I can tell you what I said when we had that leadership election in November of 2022. It was right after a very disappointing election. 2022, the wind was at our back. It should have been a phenomenal Republican election year. Republicans should have won the Senate. We should have won a big majority in the House. Instead, we lost a seat in the Senate. And we barely got a majority in the House. And, and I stood up and said, look, in any ordinary organization, when you f are faced with failure, if you're running a business and you lose $50 million, you don't just say, hey, everything's great. Let's keep doing it. No, you sit down and say, what are we doing wrong? Well, gang, it looks like we may be scalping our next Mac. We got rid of McCarthy. We got rid of McDaniel. Well, she's doing everything she can to deny it. But word on the street is she gone. And now we might be taking out the utterly insufferable establishment hack, Mitch McConnell. Hey, gang, it's me, Dr. Steve, your patron professor. here to help you to think better so you can feel better in these crazy and turbulent times. So if you haven't already done so, make sure to smack that bell and subscribe button. Kentucky Senator Mitch McConnell's days of leading or so-called leading the Republican minority do look as if they are numbered. In light of the disastrous open borders bill that crashed and burned literally within 24 hours after it was introduced. In light of that disaster, more and more prominent Republican senators are expressing support for a leadership change, and the GOP conference appears ready to do just that. According to an exclusive report by the Daily Caller, one senator who requested anonymity so as to be, uh, so as not to be retaliated against by McConnell, said this, quote, I think this is our opportunity to take him out. And we're sort of working to figure out if that's possible. I think that there's a bit of a chicken and egg problem where I think you probably have the votes, but you need somebody to step forward. And as you saw at the beginning, perhaps Ted Cruz is that guy. At least it's looking more and more like it. Now, what's so fascinating here is that even the legacy media is seeing McConnell's leadership basically imploding. NBC ran a piece with the headline, Republicans kill border bill in a sign of Trump's strength and McConnell's waning influence. And check out this byline. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell encouraged GOP senators to pass an immigration Ukraine aid bill. Just four of them supported it. In the end, even he voted no. Now, if you don't know, I bet you can guess most of those four Republicans who supported the open borders bill. Obviously, James Lankford of Oklahoma, it was his bill. Susan Collins of Maine. Lisa Murkowski of Alaska. And of course, what betrayal of Republican voters would be complete without Mittens Romney of Utah? That guy, I mean, just thank God that guy is gone in just months from now. But the astonishing thing here is that's it. That's all that Mitch McConnell was able to rally to support a bill that he more or less authored. McConnell recognized that Republicans were not going to support another massive aid package to Ukraine until they tackled the border. But McConnell also knew that they could never be they would never be able to get Democrats on board with a border bill that didn't have open borders and mass amnesty for illegal migrants. So McConnell being the unrepented shill for all things military industrial complex, he was so desperate to enrich his military buddies that he was willing to sell out his own constituency, his own Republican voters on border security just to send billions more to Ukraine. Billions more than our own Marines get, by the way. And it turned out to be an absolute political disaster for McConnell. So now the American spectator is calling for McConnell's immediate ouster from Republican leadership. However shrewd McConnell once was legislatively or in appointing judges, those days are over. The fact that only four Republicans, all embarrassing rhinos to boot, heeded his call to vote for a bill that even he ended up voting against shows that he's lost virtually all support among the Republican conference. And now it's time simply to take the guy out. And I'm going to show you exactly why it is 
indeed about to happen. But first, gang, our good friend Mike Lindell needs your help. Mike's been on this channel a number of times before, as you know, and he's one of the strongest patriots working tirelessly for the America First and MAGA movements in this country. From election integrity to protecting American businesses, Mike really does it all. And now, as the cabal of deep state lawyers and election machine companies are trying to take Mike down with frivolous lawsuits, he needs your support more than Ever. And so to show his appreciation, Mike is offering incredible my pillow deals with promo code Turley. If you click on that link below right now, you could save well over 60%. Yes, you heard that right. 60% on all sorts of incredible MyPillow products. Of course, Mike is offering huge savings on the new and improved MyPillow 2.0, but gang, I also couldn't recommend enough Mike's My Slippers as well as his bed sheets. These are some of the comfiest slippers and sheets I've ever owned. In fact, I would use that word to describe all of MyPillow's products. Comfy, right? Comfy to the max. So don't wait, gang. Support Mike as he fights for election integrity and get some extremely comfy things to boot. It's a win-win. Don't wait. Click on that link below or go to MyPillow.com slash Turley right now. Punchbowl News has a very good piece on the real significance of what happened this week in the Senate with that disastrous open borders bill. This week showed that we are in point of fact beginning to see the end of the old GOP, the old establishment neocon Republican. And what this piece notes is that this has been happening for some time now. The structures and standards that once defined the old guard of the GOP have been breaking down ever since the Tea Party movement back in 2009. And then in 2016, Trump officially created a new GOP coalition centered on the white working class in rural America, which was decisive in Trump winning blue collar dense states like Wisconsin, Iowa, Michigan and Pennsylvania, which no Republican had won in decades. And yet, despite this new coalition, this winning coalition, the old Republican Guard, represented most faithfully by McConnell, they frankly didn't know what to do with these new voters. They both occupy such different cultural spaces, even though McConnell is, of course, originally from Kentucky, but he's obviously completely lost touch with the Appalachian voter, even going so far as insisting that Ukraine Funding the war in Ukraine was the single number one priority of the U.S. government, not securing our borders, not bringing manufacturing jobs back home, not the fentanyl crisis, not defending our nation's cultural traditions against their constant assaults by the woke left. No, sending hundreds of billions of your dollars over to Ukraine. That was our number one priority. Remember how Tucker used that to utterly destroy Mike Pence? That's not my concern, Tucker. <laughs> the problems facing our nation today are not my concern. Ukraine. The Republican Party today, precisely because of its new voter coalition, is staunchly against funding for Ukraine. They're radically anti-globalist, and they're demanding that the federal government serve the people that elected them before they go off serving governments 10,000 miles away. That America first MAGA sentiment is inevitably taking over the GOP and it will eventually push Mitch McConnell out. McConnell's more and more looking like an anachronism, a symbol of a party that no longer exists. And I think what Senator Ted Cruz said there at the beginning is key about the radically disappointing midterms, disappointing in the sense that we should have gotten close to a supermajority in the House. But we didn't. And we didn't because as long as you have the likes of Mitch McConnell representing the GOP, the new voter base, the Trumpian voter base, is not going to come out to vote. That's just the cold, hard truth. As long as McConnell continues to be the face of the Republican Party in D.C., the voters that gave Trump the biggest electoral victory of any Republican in 30 years are simply not going to vote. And that is ultimately why Mitch has got to go. But first, gang, as many of you know, we have unfortunately been completely and totally demonetized, which is putting our daily communication with one another at risk like never before. Now, we are actively working on getting this resolved, but as things stand, 
This channel has, uh, without any warning, been totally and completely demonetized. And as Elon Musk said so powerfully last week, the whole point of these demonetization efforts is to deliberately try to make us patriots feel like we're all alone. They want to sever our relationship with each other and force on us a kind of digital solitary confinement so as to demoralize us and discourage us like never before. But to their horror, it's not working. Over this past week, you have carried this channel like never before. We've had more people than ever make the courageous decision to bypass big tech and join our Insiders Club. We, we have direct access to one another that can never be interrupted by big tech overlords. Over the last seven days, we've seen literally thousands of you come to our rescue. And you've done it in two ways. You've signed up for our free newsletter and you've officially joined our Insiders Club. Those Two acts alone are enough for us to collectively stand together and never, ever have our relationship severed. So I'm inviting the rest of you to do the same today just by clicking on that link below and signing up for our newsletter and joining our Insiders Club. You are guaranteeing that there is nothing that big tech can do to get between us and make us feel like we're in a digital solitary confinement. It's as simple as clicking on the link below right now and opting into our free email newsletter. And once you do that, you can financially support us by joining our Insiders Club. Gang, from the bottom of my heart, I cannot thank you enough for your support during a time like this. You are my heroes, and it will be my mission to express my appreciation for every single one of you each and every week.